Mourn and Less Alt is an opera in four acts by Giacomo Puccini. The story is based on the 1731 novel La Euro Unregistered Trademark Histoire du Chevalier des Grades de Mourn and Less Alt by the ABBA Copyright Pra Copyright Vost and should not be confused with Mourn, an 1884 opera by Jules Massenet based on the same novel. The libretto is in Italian, and was cobbled together by five librettists whom Puccini employed, Ruggero Leon Cavallo, Marco Praga, Giuseppe Giacosa, Domenico Oliva and Luigi Illica. The publisher, Giulio Ricordi, and the composer himself also contributed to the libretto. So confused was the authorship of the libretto that no one was credited on the title page of the original score. However, it was Ilka and Giacosa who completed the libretto and went on to contribute the libretti to Puccini's next three Euro, and most successful Euro works, La Boa Me, Tosca and Madame a Butterfly. Puccini took some musical elements in Mourn and Less Ought from earlier works he had written. For example, the Madrigal Salivetta to Del Monte from Act II echoes the Agnes Derry from his 1880 Messa Quattro Voci. Other elements of Mourn and Less Ought come from his compositions for strings, the Quartet Chrysanthemi, Three Minuets and a Scherzo. The love theme comes from the Aria Mencia Live Iso. Performance History Puccini's publisher, Ricordi, had been against any project based on Pra copyright Vost story because Jules Massenet had already made it into a successful opera, Mornin, in 1884. While Puccini and Ricordi may not have known it, the French composer Daniel Ober had also already written an opera on the same subject with the title Mornin Les in 1856. Despite all the warnings, Puccini proceeded. Mornin is a heroine I believe in and therefore she cannot fail to win the hearts of the public. Why should the Euro unregistered trademark T there be two operas about Mornin? A woman like Mornin can have more than one lover. He added, Massenet feels it as a Frenchman, with powder and minuets. I shall feel it as an Italian, with a desperate passion. The first performance of Mornin Les Ort took place in the Tetro Regio in Turin on February 1, 1893. It was Puccini's third opera and his first great success. The opera was first performed at the Metropolitan Opera in New York on January 18, 1907 in the presence of the composer with Lena Cavalieri in the title role, Enrico Caruso as Des Gra, Antonio Scotti as Lesort, and Arturo Vne conducting. Roles Synopsis, Time, the second half of the 18th century. Places, Amiens, Paris, La Havre, New Orleans. Equals Act 1 equals a public square near the Paris Gate, it is evening, and a crowd of male students and girls are strolling about a square known for drinking and gaming. Edmondo sings a song of youthful pleasure. Desgra enters, but is melancholic and does not join the other students. They joke with him. The carriage from Arras arrives. Mourn and Lesort, and an elderly treasurer general, Geronti de Ravoir, descend from the coach. At the first sight of Mornin, Desgra falls in love with her. Desgra overhears their conversation, Mornin is on her way to a convent, following the instructions of her father. Desgra approaches her and begs her to meet him later. She reluctantly agrees. The students laugh, pointing at the pair. After Mornin leaves, Desgra sings of his feelings for her. Lesort returns with Geronti, who also is captivated by Mornin, saying she would only be wasted in a convent. While Lesort is playing cards with a group of students, Geronti arranges to abduct Mornin and take her to Paris. Edmondo overhears the plan and informs Desgra. He advises him to accompany Mornin in the carriage arranged by Geronti. Desgra declares his love to Mornin and persuades her to go to Paris with him. They leave together. Geronti and Lesort arrive on the scene as they disappear, and Lesort proposes that they follow the carriage to Paris. Equals Act 2 equals, A Room in Geronti's House in Paris. Puccini omits the part of the novel in which Mornin and Desgra live together for a while, then Mornin leaves Desgra because his money runs out. The act begins with Mornin as Geronti's mistress. Mornin and her hairdresser are in the room when Lesort enters. She tells him that Geronti is too old and wicked. He bores her. Mornin is sad, and her thoughts turn to Desgra. 
musicians arranged by Geronti enter to amuse her. Geronti brings a dancing master. They dance a minuet, then she sings a gavotte. After dancing, Geronti and the musicians leave the house. Lesort is upset knowing that his sister is not happy living with Geronti, and he goes to find Des Grer. Des Grer appears in Geronti Euro unregistered trademark S house. As they renew their vows of love, Geronti returns unexpectedly. He salutes them ironically, reminding Mornan of his many favors to her. She replies that she cannot love him. Bowing low, he leaves them. The lovers rejoice in their freedom. Lesort urges them to leave the house at once, but Mornan hesitates at the thought of leaving her jewels and pretty frocks. Again, Lesort enters in breathless haste, making signs that they must depart immediately. Mornan snatches up her jewels, and they go to the door. It is locked by Geronti's order. Soldiers appear to arrest Mornan, who, in trying to escape, drops the jewels at Geronti's feet. She is dragged off, and Desgra is not permitted to follow her. Intermezzo, the journey to La Alvra. After trying everything to release Mornan from the prison but to no avail, Desgra goes to La Alvra. Equals Act 3 equals a square near the harbour in La Alvra. It is dawn. Mornan is in prison with other courtesans. Lesort has bribed a prison guard to let Desgra speak with Mornan. By talking to her through the bars, they learn that she is to be deported to Louisiana. A lamp lighter passes, singing a song while he extinguishes the lights. They attempt a rescue, but in vain. The guard appears, escorting a group of women, who are going on the same ship as Mornan. She walks among them, pale and sad. The crowd makes brutal comments during the roll call of the courtesans but Lesort inspires pity for Mornan, Des Grer, in despair at the idea of being separated from Mornan forever, goes to Mornan's side. He tries to seize her but is roughly pushed away by the sergeant. However, the captain of the ship sees his intense grief and allows him to board the ship. Equals Act 4 equals a vast plain near the outskirts of the New Orleans Territory, the act begins with the lovers making their way across the desert hoping to find protection in a British settlement. Wandering in the desert without any water, the ailing Mornan is exhausted. She falls and cannot go any farther. Desgra is alarmed by Mornan's appearance and goes to look for water. While he is gone, Mornan recalls her past and muses about her fatal beauty and her fate. Desgra returns having been unable to find water. Mornan bids him a heart-rending farewell and dies in his arms. Overcome by grief, Desgra falls unconscious across her body. Instrumentation, the opera is scored for piccolo, two flutes, two oboes, cor anglais, two clarinets, bass clarinet, two bassoons, four horns, three trumpets, three trombones, bass tuba, timpani, triangle, drum, tamtam, bass drum, cymbals, glockenspiel, celesta, harp, and strings, together with offstage flute, offstage cornet, offstage bell, offstage drum, and offstage sleigh bells. Recordings References Notes Sources, Anthony Tomasini, The New York Times Essential Library of Opera, Times Books, 2004. Julian Budden, Morn and Lessort, Grove Music Online, 2005. Giacomo Puccini, Morn and Lessort. Full score. Milan, Ricordi, 1958. External links, Libretto. YouTube video of the love duet from Morn and Lessort Act 2.